Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing my April favorites with you. There's a lot of things that I've been loving that I kind of picked up throughout the month and I was like, yes, I need to share this with them. So let's dive right into this video. When I go to bed at night, there are a couple things that I need to use in order to feel prepared for bed. The first one is the Soap and Glory Hand Food Hand Lotion. This smells incredible. I just love the fresh scent of it. It really helps me fall asleep at night and I think I just like the scent, but it's really, really nice for my hands. It's really not that greasy, but it's creamy enough to actually make me feel like I'm getting some moisture and my hands just feel so soft, so I love this. The other thing I've been loving for quite some time is the Vaseline Original Lip Therapy. Um, this is just incredible. This is regular Vaseline for your lips. It's nothing fancy. Really, really helps my lips at night. I wake up in the morning and I've still got a little bit left. And for the price, you really cannot beat this. I've always been a fan of the Bite Beauty Lip Agave Mask. This is significantly cheaper. I don't wear any other nail polish except for this one. This is the OPI Infinite Shine 2 lacquer and this is the shade number two esmolite nogalac it's like a light beigey brown color it's very natural it looks beautiful on the nails i posted a picture of this on instagram and you all went crazy asking me what it was but honestly it's so easy to apply i do this in the car sometimes like right before i take off i'm just putting this on my hands it dries really fast so that's why I can do it wherever I'm at so I carry this in my purse in order to like fix certain chips but when I was wearing nail polish this month this was my guy we got some Clinique one of the chubbies this is the lip color balm in the shade chunky cherry number five looks like this it's a nice cute little pencil it rolls up thank goodness I just love this. It's very sheer, very light, but it leaves a stain on the lips, so it kind of stays throughout the day and it stays in a nice way. So I really love these and they feel so moisturizing on the lips. For blush, this was something I mentioned a couple months ago, but I really feel like cream products look really nice in the summertime. This is the e.l.f. Cream Blush Palette. Can we just give this palette a moment? Like, how beautiful are each of these colors? They're just amazing. They're creamy, they're long-lasting, they're natural, they look amazing. You just need to use a stippling brush. I love this. It's just, it can't be beat. And the palette is like $5 maybe. Yes. I've been enjoying the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Lip Lipsticks. I did a full video review about these, so go check that video out. I don't want to talk too much about them, but I love these. Crazy eyes are coming at you because these are so good. This was a recommendation from Amelia Liana, and I was like, I have to get it, then I got it, and then it kind of creased under my eyes. I'm not sure what happened, maybe I've learned how to apply makeup better, but this is really, really hitting the spot for me. I use this in my recent Simple Makeup for the summertime. It's just beautiful, and it really does color correct. It brightens in a very natural way. Rather than making my under eyes look just pale and super bright, which is very unnatural, it's almost like a lightening of the dark under eyes, but in a very nice way that almost seems believable to people. You know, when you have too much highlight under your eyes, people are like, whoa, whoa, she's got like 50 pounds of makeup under her eyes. But this is really a nice natural effect. Jergens Natural Glow for the face. I have been using this as my SPF, my moisturizer, and it's kind of like a tanner too. So three in one for the cost of one less than one of these that I would normally pay for, but it's got SPF 20, oil-free. This is a fair to medium skin tone one, so it's only going to gradually give me a little bit of a tan, but I really, really like this. I mean, it's really nice under my makeup. That's one thing that I really worry about with moisturizers because if it's gonna look cakey and make my makeup look just wrong, I don't wanna use that moisturizer, but this looks really nice under makeup. It's giving me that sun protection that I need just for when I'm driving in the car and there's sun hitting my face. It's giving me a nice natural tan, so yes to that. And I just, I really like this. I don't know what else I could say about it. This is a really, really good moisturizer. And I'm usually the one using the very expensive moisturizers. And this has been a really great drugstore alternative for the summertime. Another chubby stick from Clinique. This is a shadow tint for the eyes. 
and this is the shade number four ample amber i love this so much it's such a beautiful brownie golden taupey color i don't even know if that those three colors combine into one but this is just a beautiful golden color for the summertime super long lasting it takes a lot to get it off my eyes at night but if you watch the beauty hacks video you'll actually note that i fold the cotton pad in half and then use the edge and just kind of scrub gently until i get all of my eye makeup off but another amazing one this is so long lasting super impressive a new product from a brand i don't ever really talk about but this is from pure cosmetics this is their cameo contour dual ended contour foundation this is the shade light so this is the lightest of the lights from this collection now what you get here like which side do i open up first you're going to get a contour color so this is the lightest contour in this collection on one side and this is cream and then on the other side you're going to get the highlighter so why i've been loving this it actually comes with its own beauty blender and they basically show you how you're supposed to put this on your face if you watched my simple makeup i was using this product in action so if you want to see this being actually used go check that video out basically i outline my face with a contour then i put the highlight then i go in with this beauty blender blend everything in i have never contoured to a point where it actually looked natural and really nice. I was really, really, really excited when I was done with this. It's like, holy crap, I look really tan. My cheeks are super hollow, like they look really contoured. The highlight is on fleek. It, it was just amazing. I think the combination of the fact that they give you this beauty blender with a nice flat end to it, you can really work the product in. This doesn't move and slip and slide all over my face. I just I really like this kudos to pure cosmetics because this is a really good product and I like that you get both so a fashion item I've been loving is from Nicole Vienna this box is really cute and I don't know if you can see it but in gold it says Nicole Vienna on it this is a watch company prettiest swankiest fanciest watch I've ever ever owned I posted a couple pictures of it on Instagram because I'm just obsessed I've been wearing this non-stop all month I'm just the biggest fan and I'm a big watch fanatic in general, but this is just a whole nother level of watch. I'm super, super in love with this. So that's my fashion favorite. And I thought I'd throw this in really quick because I wrote a very detailed blog post about it, but I think I mentioned it last month in my favorites, but this needs another mention because it's so good. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation. <sighs> I, I honestly, I can't tell you enough. I'm going to link the blog post somewhere on the screen right now because this, you, you got to go read about it. It's just incredible. I think this is definitely, definitely taken the number one spot. I am in love with this. If I run out of this, I'm going to be very sad. There's going to be a very large order being made, so I never run out of this. As always, please let me know what you were loving this month because I love to be instigated. I love to find out what you guys are loving at the moment. If there's anything that you really want me to try, review, or you think I can't live without, let me know in the comments down below as well. Everything that I've mentioned in this video is going to be linked in my description box, so make sure to check that out. Click that show more button. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. You know you want to. And if that's the case, I will see you in my next video. Bye.